For a gig like this, do you, do you sit at home and rehearse the? Uh, well, play a lot with a lot of different people. All, all we're playing to do is good rehearsal for improvising. And it's totally improvised what you do. Yeah, well, we you know we play on form as a structure, but the, the details are left up to us. Yeah, it's not it's not improvised in the sense of free improvisation, obviously. Um, we, have, we have more rules. And, and playing here in this kind of ambience, does that, does that inspire you to do something different? It's certainly got a unique atmosphere in this place. Why did you choose to play the double bass in jazz rather than, say, the piano or the guitar? Um, well, you know, the start on the guitar, that was originally what I did. And, um, it ended up being a progression, really, to electric bass and then, and then double bass when I went to college. So it's not the easiest instrument to play when you're that high. So that's why I didn't start until I was uh, 18. And the particular instrument that you use, is, it, is there any uh, story behind it? Or is it just a... Not particularly, I and mean, I got very lucky with it. Um, I, was, I only had a small budget to buy one um, when I was a student, and I just happened to go to a guy that had a lot of double bass since he was retired, and I just managed to pick that one, and it ended up being really good for me. But no stories about it. And, and who, who are your bass heroes? Well, it's easy to say most of them, really. I was into all the, the mainstream guys, really. The start of a Ray Brown. And chambers, and then we've got Scott Farr and Dave Holland, Gary B. Block. And then one of my favourite guys at the moment is a guy who's doing a dress. He's one of the top guys out there. Uh, it, 
covers a lot of bases from uh, people, uh, different countries, um, different styles, Latin styles. Uh, and he's got a piece that's like a sort of uh, North African drone kind of tune mixed with jazz. Saturday. This weekend we've got a big Irish Sunday as well, and it's a part of um, regenerating the area, uh, helping uh, people get new uh, initiatives going, businesses, learning skills, and we were asked to do regular music here. And jazz seems to be a good kind of democratic way that everybody can can enjoy this kind of music that we play. So uh, we've been going for about a year. Thank you. 